Old Dominion versus Villanova on homecoming Saturday here in Pennsylvania. Ted Alexander and Andy Mishaw. Andy, what a big game this was for Old Dominion for many different reasons. Many, many different reasons. Coming off of last week, you had to have some confidence. Coming up on the road again, a team that a lot of people say you're supposed to beat, you had to have it, and they did. Let's go to the highlights. When we talk about highlights, the defense, the sack turning into a Devon Simmons fumble recovery. Yeah, he was right there on the spot. The pressure came. They brought the safety in. He happened to be right there. Took it out of midair. It's a great way to start. The thing is, turnovers are all fun and good, but if you don't cash in on them, uh, they aren't as good as they could be. Next play. How about the Monarchs getting on the board? Yeah, it's the way to do it, man. Antonio Vaughn, 42 yards from Tyler Heineke, and Vaughn just caught it in some space and took off with it. Once he gets open, you're not going to catch him. Didn't get the extra point. They tried a funky play with Kai Blanco. Didn't get in, so it was 6 nothing. But then they looked to build on that lead, and Lorenzo Smith comes back with a big run. At that point, he was been in the game for two plays. The first one was a play fake to him. This one, they didn't fake it to him. He got right through there, and once he gets in the open field, he's got some speed, too. This guy was a safety when he came into camp. Now he's scoring 54-yard touchdown runs. And it's 13-0 Old Dominion. Now Villanova comes back to make it 13-7 after the first quarter. Jared Brown's field goal makes it 16-7. And then more turnover action, more action from Chris Burnett in the defensive line. Burnett again with the sack. They got pressure again. They come through and the quarterback, he's holding the ball with one hand, pops out. Craig Wilkins right there on the one-yard line, bounces on it. And they, that's the way you score points. When they turn it over, you turn them in. And again, you turn that turnover into more points, and they cash in from inside the five. Now Heineke himself this time got sort of stuffed in the middle, but then found the seam, got to the outside, and punched it in. And then it's a 23-14 game because the, uh, the Wildcats come back and score, and they still aren't quite out of it. But late in the second quarter, you work the two-minute offense, and you get the, the touchdown right before the intermission. And Mayer's here sort of standing by the sidelines. I don't know whether he blended into the sidelines or whatever. There was no Villanova player around him at all. He could have walked in backwards if he wanted to. Wide open on that. Good job by Heineke to stay poised and find him. Heineke does just that. It's 30-14 to 14 at the half. Only one score in the second half, Andy, and then it was all about the defense. All about the defense. The Craig Wilkins, the leader on this team, had the one fumble already. Picks off this one. Good play, good read. They're sprinting the quarterback out because they've been pressuring him all day, trying to get him away, and he just threw it right to him. Good job by Wilkins. He almost didn't see it, but he got his hands up in time to make that pick. Last touchdown comes from Angus Harper uh, on uh, uh, an deep in the uh, red zone type of play, and the final score was 37-14. You think about the reasons this could have been a disastrous Saturday. you got to be proud with the performance. You have to be proud with this performance. The defense, I know, is especially proud of this. Craig Wilkins was talking to me earlier, and he said he, he was just so happy to be able to come back out here and play because all they've heard about is how bad the game against last week against Towson was and how it ended. Everywhere you looked, it was there. Everybody was talking about it. They wanted to come out here prove that they can come out here and win and get another win on the road. They're very happy right now. Once again, the final score, Old Dominion 37, Villanova 14. Monarchs now 6-2 and two on the season, 3-2 and two in the CAA. For Andy Mishaw, I'm Ted Alexander for Monarch Media.